Hi and welcome back to the Ride Share Body UK YouTube channel. My name's Kevin and it's uh, 20 past 8 and I'm on my way to Clanny Bidra. My apologies to the Welsh. It's a, it's a industrial estate halfway between uh, Carmarthen and Cardigan for an 11 o'clock pickup uh, going back to Bristol Airport. I've then got about an hour's wait to do a pickup at Bristol Airport coming back into Newport. So a reasonable day today. Um, Going to do a, a, a quick stop at Carmarthen um, to uh, top up on the electric uh, just to make sure I've got enough to uh, complete the job because as you know no charging facilities around uh, Bristol Airport at all. Oh, well there's that Instagram, uh, Instagram, Instavolt one but that's charging 85p kilowatt hour. Totally out of my budget uh, for winning a taxi. Well, I've got a video coming up. I was watching the uh, driver Matty and he's going to do a breakdown of winning a EV uh, out of taxi without home charging comparing to I'm also going to do one about my experience of actually doing that um, over the last probably coming up to almost six months now um, so watch out for that uh, can you run an EV as a taxi if you've got no home charging yes you can but you're not going to save the money if you do uh, like you do with uh, home charging however when I had the Ionic Hybrid I was spending about 120 to 150 pound a week on petrol now I'm currently spending about 120 pound to 150 pound a week on uh, electric recharge so pretty much the same the big difference is this is an Ionic 5 a much much bigger car than the uh, Ionic Hybrid much more space much more comfort much more technology so I've got a much better car for the same fuel use as I did with the Ionic Hybrid I think if you compare this car with the petrol hybrid car that I do do, you're probably looking at the same sort of space and comfort levels of a Tucson. Now I know a Tucson don't do 65 miles to the gallon, which is what the Ionic Hybrid did. So if I compare like to like the Tucson to the Ionic 5, I'm probably saving a little bit of money on fuel, but not a lot. Um, but I'm not losing, and that's the main thing, provided I use um, Tesla or Ionity. But that's for a future video, I'll break it all down and you can see the figures then. But for this one, the main one I'm going to do today is I've got a new camera, a new handheld camera. Uh, it's got a clip on it also, so I can just clip it on and stuff. So I'm going to use the opportunity of testing this out by doing a walkthrough. Uh, once I get to Carmarthen and, and parked up for charging, I'll do a walkthrough of all the uh, the little extras and little goodies I bought for the car. I'll put the links in the description to where I buy from. Most of it I bought from uh, AliExpress, um, and most of it got delivered within sort of ten days. Really quick at delivery now from China, so um, I'll do a quick run through the car seat covers and stuff and the steering wheel cover. I'll do a video on it and show you all though. But that's the main thing for today. The other thing I want to do today is just do a quick run through of basic comparison of mileage rates that I've been paid to drivers from different companies so you can compare and see just how bad Uber is. So yesterday I did do some Uber after I'd calmed down after the woman tried to squeeze six people into the car. I did do a bit of Uber in uh, but I did mainly Bolt. Um, so in total if I divide what I made with the mileage, Uber was paying on average one pound eighteen pence per mile. Pick up to drop. Bolt worked out pick up to drop worked out at three pound twenty one a mile. Big difference, uh, three pound twenty one a mile. The main reason for that is um, Uber does not do comfort in Newport. The only time 
passengers get offered comfort level in central Cardiff, whereas Bolt does do comfort level in Newport. About 50% of the work I did for Bolt was comfort. So that really pushed up the, the mileage rate and it averaged that £3.21 a mile. Damn sight better than £1.18 a mile from Uber. Now today both jobs are OTS. If I add up the mileage and divide by what I'm going to make, it works out at about £1.29 a mile after I've taken off the drop-off fees at the airport and pick-up fees at the airport. That's £1.29 a mile. But... You know, this is long distance work and long distance work also always tends to pay a little bit lower than local work. So even long distance work with OTS pays substantially more than local work with Uber. Uber really is squeezing the passengers and this is why I don't do Uber basically. I was going to come out and do some Uber work like sort of try and beat the 10 hour limit and stuff like that. And I think, well, if I'm only going to be paid 118 an hour, I can't be asked. So I don't even come out to do uh, uh, YouTube videos anymore on Uber. And it's just not worth coming out. Um, for instance, last week, I'm going to be paid £20, well, £23 from Uber. Because I did one job. I dropped off at Cardiff Airport. There was a lot of people around. The plane had just come in. So I flicked on the app. And I got to pay a job from... Uh, Cardiff Airport to Central Cardiff for £20 plus the £3 uh, drop off car parking fee. So that's the only job I did last week, which I'm going to be paid for with Uber, uh, purely because there was a job there to be taken. The week before that, I got paid £42 from Uber, no, £48 from Uber, £42 for the job, £6 for the drop off. And I only had that one job to Bristol Airport because I was sat in the Celtic Manor Tesla station charging up. Um, and I flicked on the Uber app to take me out to Bristol Airport, put destination on for Bristol Airport. Uh, and I got a job from Celtic Manor to Bristol Airport. Perfect. I was still charging. I sent a message to the customer saying, I'm going to be 10 minutes just finishing off charging. Is that OK? If not, I'll cancel the job and you can... Uh, put it back out to bed for driving and said no 10 minutes five 15 minutes would be even better because we're still finishing this breakfast so i went down picked up a car to manic took him to a uh, bristol airport but that was the only job i did that week purely because it took me to where i wanted to go coming out to do uber is not worth it full stop so i don't do it right now so while i don't come out to do uber shifts i do try and do at least two or three uber jobs not Uber days or Uber shifts, but Uber jobs a week. Mainly to keep my account active so I can get a free BP subscription and a special Uber um, charge rates at BP, which is 49p kilowatt hour as opposed to 63p kilowatt hour. Uh, and BP is a useful backup to my main Tesla and Ionity charging locations. So, for instance, if I do get pushed and I do start to drop on the charge at Cardiff Airport, we've got a 50 kilowatt charger at the Holiday Inn. And um, when I go to Birmingham Airport, we've got a big super station, super hub, charger hub, up at the NEC. So it's really useful to be able to get that 49p kilowatt hour charging session. Um, more expensive than Ionity, more expensive than Tesla. But a whole lot cheaper than everywhere else. So they also PB also has some useful uh, uh, chargers, 50 kilowatt chargers out on the west coast of Wales at various hotels. Um, so it does prove useful. BP does for emergencies. Fortunately, I don't have to rely on them too much. I can normally. Uh, get my uh, charging sorted at the two, Ionity and Tesla. But uh, having that uh, free membership is very useful and it's worth doing two or three jobs a week for Uber just to make sure I've got that uh, in the bank, ready to go. Well, I gave myself three hours to get to Clan Ridra, um, thinking that would be enough and allow me an hour for charging session at Carmarthen. 
but I totally forgot about the gridlock school run hours in Newport. Anything between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the morning and Newport is basically at a standstill. So, looking at Uber, sorry, looking at uh, Google Maps, I've now only got 30 minutes spare. It's taken me nearly 30 minutes to cover two miles in Newport. This is why I don't come out during the morning rush hour. Um, you, you're just sitting around, going nowhere, wasting money. And at £1.18 with Uber, you're much better off staying in bed. Right, we're just uh, plugged in and charging up so I can test out this new camera on video and also on the sound quality. So let's have a look at some of the extras that I've bought for the car. Right. So starting on the outside, we bought these fancy ring mirror um, eyebrows or shields, which helps to protect this against the rain. And it's got the nice ionic uh, logo on the uh, on the top. So let's have a look inside. First one is a steering wheel cover. So I've put on a nice steering wheel cover came from uh, AliExpress, very quick delivery, about, uh, about less than 10 days I think it was. It was uh, pretty good. So let's put uh, on some lights. Okay, so that's the uh, steering wheel cover. We've done the seat covers. Now these are really good quality seat covers. I really like these. Um, they're full of a a universal type of cover and it's only the top cover it doesn't cover all the way but it does fit in really nice and it's got the space for the uh, seat belt uh, clips the, the middle is zipped so you can zip and unzip and you can drop down a quarter seat or three quarter seat i put the uh, neck cushions on these are proven to be quite popular with passengers because uh Gives them a soft place to uh, put their head when they fall to sleep on the, uh, the trip back. So that's quite a good uh, good buy. But the seat covers, I really do like it. I'm going to get some more seat covers. So when these come off for a wash, or if I want to have a change of uh, colour, there's some nice purple ones. I might get some purple ones. I've swapped out the, uh, the seatbelt clips. If you remember, they were strapped on a sort of a fa fabric. These are direct, very nice. Passengers love these, especially the older passengers, uh, because they find it much, much easier to uh, clip in without fundling around than at the bottom. For those of arthritis, really like these. I have a regular blind passenger, a uh, private passenger I do. Uh, she loves it as well, because she can very quickly find where the seat belt is. And she uh, loves it. She, she uses this car a lot because uh, her guide dog when I push forward this front seat, there's loads of space there for a guide dog to uh, to lie down on. Uh, so that's really popping up. It also helps me with uh, stopping the pinging when passengers don't wear seat belts. Now since I put these in, because they're bright orange, they are very visible and passengers do put on the seat belts a lot more often than before. It's also good for uh, when I put child seats in. Very easy to clip in the seat belt for the child, child seats. So uh, that's what I've got. Uh, there, I've also bought a, excuse the mess of the car. I'm going to tidy it up, ready for uh, when I uh, pick up the passengers. I've got this clip up the top here, which clips onto the mirror, because uh, the Ionic 5 doesn't have anywhere to put my sunglasses. So that just clips up like that. Have to be a little bit careful when I drop down the sun visor because that's quite a loose clip. But uh, if you're a little bit careful, it's not a problem. So I like that, that's uh, proven to be useful. So, what else did I have I bought for this? I'll put all the links in below. Uh, so, if you want to uh, buy anything, uh, you can do so. Now, the only thing with the seat belt, cover, seat belt covers, if I move this out of the way, is the front ones are held down by clips. But because these are heated seats, the Onyx 5 don't have anywhere for those clips to go. So I'm going to get some um, black elastic, tie them in there, push it all the way underneath the seat, 
and clip it onto the uh, the plastic or the elastic band around the back. But those have uh, non-slip covers on the back and they've not moved at all and they've had these in now for three weeks, maybe more. Um, and I've not had a problem with them uh, riding up or falling out of place, even the front or the back. And they're working out really, really well. So that's why I'm thinking of buying some more. Uh, maybe getting a purple or something like that. Or maybe if I can find a tartan for Christmas, a uh, Christmas tree, that would be quite nice. So I think that's probably one of the best buys I've got so far on the seatbelt covers. Right, so I've also bought these, this cover for the armrest. It just clips up, it's just elastic band, but it looks quite nice, it's got blue colour to add a little bit of colour to it. Fits very easily and helps protect against that, against sweat and things like that. Now inside, normally when it comes as default, that is what you get, you just get the one tray and I bought a little organiser tray to go in there, so it's got the one compartment there and a couple of the smaller compartments. Just makes it a little bit easier to split things up and it's also got a uh, silicon base here so it stops the rattling so it doesn't rattle around as you drive which is really really useful as you can see i've got some uh, mood lighting those two mood lighting things are in place now and looking good and finally i'll just unload the junk from it and then we can have a look at the final piece of thing i've bought what I am looking for now though is the um, carpets. I do want some front carpets to ju just brighten it up. Oh yeah, just before I forget, I think I've done it before, but uh, I've got this clip to power my uh, dash cap, which goes into uh, get the power from the uh, automatic dimming, uh, dimming mirror. So that's a power source. So I don't have wires hanging all over the place. But let's just unload this final bit and then I can show you the last thing I've done. Right, so here you go. Excuse the mess. That is why how it comes normally by default. You've just got one uh, one section, but I bought a separate organiser, which just very nicely slips into there. There's a pen holder, an extra couple of cup holders there. A... Uh, another organizer section there and a coin one just down there so you can put some coins in there so that really helps to organize the, uh, the setup uh, and just adds a little bit of a quality to it really what I might look at doing is getting rid of these two mood lighters and you can get some rechargeable mood lighters mood lighters <coughs> that fits in the cup holders <laughs> So I might get four, one, two for here and one for each of the back doors just to add the blue mood light uh, and just brighten things up. Right, so those are the sort of extras and additions I've bought for the car so far. I've got a few more I want to do uh, just to add a little bit of comfort. The carpets are the main one though. Uh, black carpets don't really offset the car very nicely. So I might try and find some blue or some light grey with blue trim or something like that just to... Uh, brighten things up inside the car. But I've had a few uh, things I bought, really nice. I've put all the links in below if you want to uh, look at it. This is the Ionic 5. Most of them are made for the Ionic 5, some are sort of more universal. But uh, that's given me a good chance to uh, test out this new handheld camera, or this micro camera, uh, to see what the quality is like. So that's it, thanks for watching. Uh, that's it for today, until next time, take care make a profit, and uh, watch that mileage rate that people are paying you. Make sure you're earning money from when you drive.